So I'm in this rustic French workshop and I just recently bought this Jitan road bike. I'm not sure of the year yet, maybe it's 80s. Uh, I'm yet to decide what it is. Uh, in good condition as you can see. Uh, nice colour. Um, you know, it's, it's frame is in pretty good nick. Got some scratches on it as usual, but uh, nothing bad. I like this crank set, this SR. Is it SR? It's a Super Maxi Sagino Super Maxi crank set drilled. Reminds me of the Pentagon shaped um, strong light crank sets of that era. And it's got this Hure Eco. Rear derailleur, the front derailleur matches it, and the shifters. Don't really like those derailleurs to be honest, but uh, they're okay, I suppose. EDL 2001, I think it is, saddle. It's pretty cool. SR uh, seat post with these diamonds on it. Strong light. Uh, it's got a strong light head headset, and these are obviously a replacement Shimano 105. Definitely went on this, and actually, uh, this is interesting. Mafac side pull brakes, which normally the Mafac ones were like the center pull. These are the side pull ones. Uh, so yeah, it looks it looks good, especially like that crank set. But there are a few problems with it, starting with this ugly derailleur, which has lost its um, plastic cap there, so now the bolt is exposed. But you see, you can s it's loose on the hanger for some reason, not being tightened up. Uh, there's some rust there on the freewheel and the chain as well. Um, so that's one problem. It's not easy, not a difficult to fix. But the crank set actually does have a problem. And uh, you can see, if I take this pedal, it's actually warped. I don't know whether you can see that. Uh, maybe if I do it slower. There, so it gets really close there to the stay as well, and it, it's definitely warped. And that will need um, that will definitely need some. I don't know whether it's possible, that's what I want to do in this video. Maybe is see if I can straighten out. The uh, the crank, the chain rings, whether they can be straightened. But the weird thing is, if you look really close here, there's a ding right there. Right here is a ding. So, the guess is, there it is, you can see it better there now. The guess is, that there was a crash or something and maybe the crank set took it and also the frame down there at the bottom bracket maybe the guy was riding it he f came off and he hit uh, the, cr the crank got the most of the blow from the crash possible i can't think of anything else actually so there is a ding there i don't think there's any problem really for the bike uh, I think it's probably been there for a long time, but the crank set will definitely need uh, a look at because otherwise, what's going to happen is the the chain line is going to be. I don't know whether I'll be able to actually ride this without the chain touching the front derailleur because it's warped here. This chain may be moving around more than it should be and end up. Uh, having friction here 
So I'm going to see if I can actually um, straighten these chain rings. See if it's possible. So I'm going to take off the the chain rings without taking the crank off. So I'm just going to take these chain bolts off and remove the two chain rings and not have to take the whole thing off and because you don't have to. Just put this big chain ring very lightly in this vise and it, to me it looks straight and on a flat surface both seem fine. So I got a feeling it's not the chain rings themselves but it's probably the actual bottom bracket and maybe the spindle has, has warped. Uh, because I don't think these chain rings are actually a problem. I think for their age, they're in pretty good shape. Uh, otherwise, you'd find that they'd be, the, the, if they were warped, they'd be more noticeably out of shape on a flat surface. But here, the 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 flat against the surface, so I don't think it's the they're the problem. So I managed to find a way of seeing what the problem is I put a, a plank of wood next to the well between the uh, bottom bracket and the, the crank arm to see if there's any warping of the actual crank arm and here it is you can see like every one should be like about two millimeters coming from the edge of that wood that's about two millimeters that one's two millimeters, but this one is bigger. It's definitely more like three. That's two, 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 and then that bigger one there is three. So I think the problem is it's either now the crank arm itself, the spider here is worn and it's been warped or it's actually the bottom bracket itself the spindle uh, the spindle is definitely um, warped so it's one or the other so this is a really simple one key release crank you don't need a crank puller it just comes off when you release this uh, six millimeter allen key bolt pretty simple and pretty cool so I found the source of the problem. It's see it's flat against the plank, but this one here is sticking up, which means it's warped. So that's been bent at some point, maybe in a crash. So the problem wasn't the chain rings, but is that this spider has been bent over time. So the question is, can it be uh, straightened or not? Or at least I found the source of the problem.